Hello everyone. Today we will talk about six ORF finder in code in Python and longest of all ORF among the six frames. So as we know that DNA has four nucleotides A, C, G, and T. So first of all, in this step we will uh, take these four nucleotides and then uh, I will write. I have written a function to validate the DNA sequence either it is A, C, G or T and as you know that uh, in uh, ORF we have six reading frames three reading frames three reading frames are in forward direction and three are in backward and uh, let me explain those reading frames to you so for example I have A, C, G, T T, G. so uh, the first reading frame would be the same second reading frame will start from here from C so it will miss the first one and the third reading frame uh, will definitely start from G so this is the third reading frame and these are the first three reading frames and the reading frame number four five six would be the reverse complement uh, of this sequence from for example if I invert this entire sequence and take its, its reverse complement then this will become the fourth uh, reading frame and uh, then fifth uh, we will in fifth we will miss uh, one and in six we will miss the uh, last two uh, letters so that's why I need reverse complement of my DNA sequence and then I will join the string so this function you know translates the DNA sequence uh, this function makes the uh, d d makes the reading frames for example 1 to 0 1 2 and these are reverse complement 4 5 and 6 reading uh, frame In, uh, I will search for uh, codons and the and its length so for example uh, in this code uh, I am in this you know function I am trying to find the start and stop codon this is my dictionary for amino acids as you can read it is very easy this is the main part where I check for the uh, you know my while loop runs and it, see, it checks until the length of sequence minus 2 because DNA uh, is in triplets and my code takes the DNA in triplet in 3 uh, or in codon form so if my current codon is equal to start codon I will start appending that to my list I will start appending that nucleotide to my list uh, un and the second condition is while not current codon in stop codon and current codon in gene uh, code table uh, that means my you know current codon should be in this gene code table uh, this is a double check so it, it will append in my list ORF sequence uh, plus uh, current codon and in this way I will you know uh, this while loop will run all on all the six reading frames and I will find all the uh, six open reading frames in the reading frames after that I will translate my DNA sequence and uh, after translating the DNA sequence uh, I will you know uh, uh, print those DNA sequences if you don't need the longest in this function in this code we are printing all the six frames but if you don't need the longest frame if you don't need the longest frame you can comment this co entire code but if you need the longest strand uh, which is most probably the ORF uh, you can you know uh, keep the, this code as it is so let's test our code here so I am you know copying this test sequence and I am pasting it here so as you can see that this is my frame 1 and this is start codon and codon amino acid sequence this is my amino acid sequence and this is the length of the amino acid sequence start codon and TGA is start codon ATG is start code uh, stop codon and ATG is start codon and this is the amino acid and this is its then so this is frame number 4 this is frame number 5 and so on frame number 6 
and the longest amongst all is this so this is the longest orf amongst the all reading frame so as you can see this is the longest orf so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please let me know thank you in the comments below thank you very much for watching the video goodbye